trace this traces a little bit further towards our time and like <coughs> go move to the to your piece if you don't mind. Sure. And like the composer gives us a note, um, for example, to the to the fourth movement of it, the sounds and perfumes of the night. Well, this is a quotation. Um, from Baudelaire, actually, mm -hmm. an updated version of that most traditional of piano genres, the Nocturne. And you are writing about myriad of detailed piano figuration on a, a different place, playing of great lightness, clarity and speed. Oh, yes, and, that for the piece Touche, yes, yes. Yes, and yes. this is what we, are, what we like to do. And let's, let's, let's just listen to this, to this second piece, Touche, French title. Sensation, well, the title is probably thought, conceived in English, isn't it? Uh, it, was <laughs> it was deliberately conceived because it was written for Pierre Roymar to play. It was deliberately conceived to be viable in either English or French without any change of word, which I have to admit is not an original idea, but from a composer that Paul admires very much, uh, Bill Hopkins, who wrote a song cycle when he was studying with Barraquet in Paris called Sensation or Sensation, and nobody yes. knows in either case whether that's in English or French. And I don't know whether this title is in English or French, but, but it's about the senses. <laughs> it, I also like the fact that it has this sen aspect of misunderstanding of being sensational, which the piece isn't at all, really, but, but of being about sensuality and, uh, and the, the physicality of, of sound. And then you have the poem from Arthur Rimbaud. Absolutely. Let, let, let's see how you, how you deal with this freedom. and Well, actually, this vast freedom, how does your music proceed? <laughs> 